Are you curious about what's next for Apple's smartphone lineup? Want to know how the iPhone 16 models stack up against each other? From bigger screens to smarter AI, the rumor mill is buzzing with exciting changes. But which iPhone 16 might be right for you? Let's dive in and compare the upcoming lineup to find out. Before we get into the nitty gritty, let's set the stage. We're looking at four models in the iPhone 16 lineup, the standard iPhone 16, the larger iPhone 16 Plus, and then the premium iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. Now, you might be thinking, wait, isn't that the same lineup we have now? And you'd be right, but don't let that fool you. There are some exciting changes brewing under the surface. Let's kick things off with one of the biggest changes, quite literally. While the standard iPhone 16 and 16 Plus are keeping their current sizes, the Pro models are getting a growth spurt. The iPhone 16 Pro is set to increase from 6.1 inches to 6.3 inches, and the Pro Max is stretching all the way to 6.9 inches from its current 6.7 inches. Now, you might be wondering, won't that make the phones huge? Well, here's where it gets interesting. Apple's reportedly using some clever tech called Border Reduction Structure, BRS, to slim down the bezels. This means we're getting more screen without the phones becoming unwieldy bricks in our pockets. It's a win-win situation. More display real estate for our content, but still manageable in the hand. Moving on to something that's got the tech world buzzing, buttons. Yeah, you heard that right. Buttons can be exciting, especially when we're talking about a brand new one. All four iPhone 16 models are set to feature a new capture button. Think of it as a dedicated camera shutter button, but with some extra tricks up its sleeve. This capture button is expected to be pressure sensitive and support gestures. Imagine being able to zoom in and out by swiping on the button or focusing with a light press and capturing with a firmer one. It's like having a mini DSLR right on your phone. And for all you vloggers and selfie enthusiasts out there, this button is positioned perfectly for when you're holding your phone in landscape mode. But wait, there's more. The action button that was exclusive to the Pro models in the iPhone 15 lineup, it's coming to all iPhone 16 models. This customizable button replaces the old mute switch and can be set to perform various tasks like activating the flashlight, launching the camera, or triggering a shortcut. It's all about giving us more control and quick access to our favorite features. Now, let's talk cameras, because let's face it, for many of us, the camera is one of the most important features of a smartphone. Here's where we start to see some real differentiation between the standard and pro models. The standard iPhone 16 and 16 Plus are getting a bit of a makeover in the camera department. Apple's switching things up with a new vertical camera layout reminiscent of the iPhone 12. But this isn't just about aesthetics. It's rumored to enable spatial video recording for Apple's Vision Pro headset. So if you're excited about creating immersive content, this could be a game changer. On the Pro side of things, we're hearing whispers of some serious upgrades. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max might be getting the 5 times telephoto lens that was previously exclusive to the Pro Max. This means better zoom capabilities across the Pro line. There's also talk of an improved 48 megapixel ultra-wide camera, which could be a huge boost for those sweeping landscape shots or cramming more people into your group photos. But here's where it gets really interesting. There are rumors floating around about a possible super telephoto lens for the Pro Max. We're talking about zoom capabilities that could rival dedicated cameras. While the details are still fuzzy, the possibility alone is enough to get any photography enthusiast excited. Now, let's geek out a bit and talk about what's powering these devices. All four iPhone 16 models are expected to use the next generation A18 chip. But before you think this means they'll perform the same, Apple's got some tricks up its sleeve. The word on the street is that Apple might differentiate the chips between the standard and pro models. We could see the A18 in the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus and a souped up A18 Pro in the pro models. This would continue Apple's trend of reserving the most powerful chips for its Pro lineup. But it's not just about raw power. The A18 chip, especially in the Pro models, is rumored to feature an upgraded neural engine with significantly more cores. What does this mean for us? Well, it could open up a whole new world of on-device AI capabilities. We're talking smarter Siri, more advanced image processing, and who knows what other AI magic Apple might cook up. In today's world, connectivity is king, and Apple seems to be pulling out all the stops. The iPhone 16 Pro models might be equipped with Qualcomm Snapdragon X75 modem, bringing us into the era of 5G Advanced. 
This isn't just a fancy name. It promises faster speeds, more reliable connections, and better efficiency. On the Wi-Fi front, we might see the Pro models leap to Wi-Fi 7, while the standard models upgrade to Wi-Fi 6E. In practical terms, this means faster download speeds, lower latency, and more reliable connections, especially in crowded areas. Whether you're streaming 4K videos or engaged in an intense online gaming session, these upgrades should make for a smoother experience. Let's shine a light on the displays, quite literally. The iPhone 16 lineup is rumored to be using new OLED panels with micro lens technology. Now, that might sound like a mouthful, but here's what it means for us. Brighter screens that use less power. It's like getting the best of both worlds, a display that's easier to see outdoors without sacrificing battery life. Speaking of battery life, there are whispers of some exciting developments in this area too. The Pro models might be getting stacked battery technology, which could mean higher capacity and longer lifespan. There's also talk of faster charging speeds, with rumors suggesting 40-watt wired charging and 20-watt MagSafe charging for the Pro models. If this pans out, we could be looking at significantly reduced charging times. Now, if you were hoping for a radical redesign, we might have to temper those expectations a bit. The overall look of the iPhone 16 lineup is expected to be quite similar to the iPhone 15, but that doesn't mean there aren't any changes. For one, we're hearing rumors about new color options. The standard models might come in black, green, pink, blue, and white, while the Pro models could see a new rose or bronze color that sounds pretty intriguing. There's also talk of a new finishing process for the Pro model's titanium frame, potentially giving it a glossier, more premium look. While hardware often steals the spotlight, let's not forget about the software side of things. The iPhone 16 lineup is expected to launch with iOS 18, which is rumored to bring some significant AI enhancements. We're talking about more advanced Siri capabilities, AI-assisted content creation, and possibly even on-device language models. To support these AI features, Apple is reportedly upgrading the microphones across the iPhone 16 lineup. These new mics are said to have better water resistance and an improved signal-to-noise ratio, which should make Siri more responsive and accurate, especially in noisy environments. So, what does all this mean for us as consumers? Well, it looks like Apple is continuing its strategy of clear differentiation between the standard and pro models while also bringing some pro features to the entire lineup. The standard iPhone 16 and 16 Plus are shaping up to be solid upgrades with the new capture button, vertical camera layout, and potential AI enhancements. They're likely to appeal to those who want a great all-around iPhone without breaking the bank. The Pro models, on the other hand, are where Apple seems to be pushing the boundaries. With larger displays, more advanced camera systems, and potentially more powerful AI capabilities, they're targeting power users, creatives, and those who want the absolute cutting edge of mobile technology. Of course, it's important to remember that all of this is based on rumors and leaks. Apple has a knack for surprising us, and there could be features or design elements that nobody's seen coming. But based on what we know so far, the iPhone 16 lineup is shaping up to be an exciting evolution of the iPhone. Lastly, whether you're a mobile photography enthusiast, a power user who needs the latest and greatest, or someone who just wants a reliable and capable smartphone, it looks like the iPhone 16 lineup will have something to offer. As we get closer to the expected September 2024 launch, we're sure to learn more details. And who knows, Apple might have a few more surprises up its sleeve.